I did a video uh, recently on the um, roach. It was, I think it was called the um, the roach uh, surveillance frequency. And this this just goes to show you that you know majority majority of the world they are um, they are basically under uh, it's called uh, it's called hypnosis. They're under hypnosis. They're they're under a spell hypnosis spell and when I did that video the main goal is uh, to get people to think that's the main goal get people to think and then I had some some cat uh commenting on the post and you know basically basically was just laughing at it but you know that's totally totally understandable because you know I uh I understand why people uh, mind frames are like that. And when I look I click I clicked on his picture and you know it was an old so-called black person. And as soon as I saw the picture I'm thinking to myself like yeah, he's already he's he's done. There's nothing you can do with him. He's setting his ways and you, you know he's setting his ways mentally. There's nothing you can do for him. You know, because a lot of these, a lot of these uh, so-called black um, uh, men and women, they're mentally programmed or being programmed and don't even know it. So th this, this video is on uh, the word entertainment. Now, when you see these celebrities, these football players, basketball players, um, you know, they're always pushing something just off off the wall agenda, always pushing the off off the wall agenda. Now, when you're dealing with baseball, um, um, soccer, hockey, you never really see it on a scale where there's a there's an agenda. I mean, it might be in other countries that is popular. See, I could see an agenda being pushed with soccer in like. You know, using using this as an example, you know, like a country in Europe, you know, with the same agenda that they push over here with you know, football and basketball. But the word entertainment, I got this picture up here because a lot, a lot of a, the majority of the people in the world are uh, are feeling these type of emotions, these type of emotions alone. Worthless, sickness, broken. A lot of people are suffering. That majority of the world is suffering one of those emotions. That's why. I, that's why I got this picture up here. And now, when you look at um, the word entertainment, which is broke down in four syllables, entertainment. Technically, the word is broke down in three syllables. It's enter is one, tame. And then mint. That's three syllables. Now the definition version of entertainment is basically, you know, uh, somebody that's uh, that's performing something for you for enjoyment. That's not the thorough definition, but something across those lines. I don't really Google a, a, a lot of stuff, but I know it's something across those lines. <clears throat> the true definition of because when you're dealing with these words. There's there's the there's the there's the dictionary de definition and then there's the decoding definition, which always is going to be in your face. A lot of this stuff is just put in your face because a lot of this stuff is basic is basically all codes. Now it is how the word sounds. It's real simple. It's not. This is not hard. Enter. So what does enter mean? It means going into something or someone. Entering, tame, which which the end of it's an N, but it's really tame with an M, which means tame, which means taming, taming you, like a lion, like you tame a lion, you tame your dog, you tame any type of uh, animal that isn't domestic or or domestic, and then mint, mint is short for mental, so it's it's basically how the word sounds internally. Taming your mental. That's what entertainment is. So even a word alone, you know, there's a there's an agenda in just the word alone. 
So when you're dealing with entertainment and uh, these celebrities, there's there's always an agenda. There's one basketball player recently that just had came out said his son's gay, entering the LGP uh, LTGB community, which you know that's fine, but anybody that's intelligent could know that that's that's an agenda. That's something that's being pushed. So one one key thing you have to do is when you when you're raising when you're raising your children um you have to you have to separate the 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 the, the TV and technology from your children at one point once they get like maybe 4 5 then um the separation must the mental separation has to be pushed if you want to save your, your, your child's future as far as your child end, ending up being, um, you know, uh, uh, a, a homosexual or lesbian, something like that. Now, <clears throat> when you push that on a child, it's different than a child growing up and, you know what, I just want to be gay. You know, if that's what the child wants to do, fine, all power to you. But once it's being pushed, you got... You as a you as a parent have an agenda to protect your 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 little ones. So the word entertainment, internally taming your mental, easy. It's not hard. So that's basically what they're doing. Basically, what they're doing is inter internally taming your mental. And the major the mass majority of the world, they don't think. They don't think on a higher scale, on a higher level. They always are some on some uh, earthbound um, mental low frequency. So, being being that you know now, you know what the word really means is internally taming your mental. And a lot of these words that 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 I break down, it's real easy. Once once I mean, if you start listening to my videos. And I start breaking down these words, it's just going to become second nature to you. So, um, and what they're doing is with the entertainment, where they're using the TV, um, social media, especially these uh, these uh, slave, these modern day slave Negroes, they're using them so hard because the whole goal is to, the whole goal is to take is to tating. Tating the mental process of your children. That's the whole goal, you know, because you could be a.k.a. Uh, woke conscious, which I don't I don't really like the word woke, woke or conscious because it's some past that. Because once 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 your once your junk DNA is activated, you start seeing stuff like on that. Uh, there's an old movie. Uh, you Google this old movie. There's an old movie called They Live. And a lot of the younger, the young generation, I know a lot of y'all don't know about that movie, They Live, but Google it and I'll watch a couple of scenes of that movie where he puts the sunglasses on. He puts the sunglasses on and he starts seeing the world in a whole different aspect that nobody else is really seeing it, you know. And then that, that, that movie, it's They Live, check that movie out. It's an old movie, it has a, it's, it's an old wrestler, I think it was a Rowdy Rowdy Piper was in that movie check that movie out it's pretty it's, it, it, you know it's interesting even you know for the new for the new generation you guys if you guys check that movie out i mean the you know graphics it's all oldish but you know the plot to the movie is is very interesting and that's that's how it is when you're when you uh, activate your junk dna now i call it junk dna because that's what um, these philosophers and doctors and scientists call it, so you know what I'm talking about, which is not junk DNA. But you know, you, you see what I'm saying. As somebody on Facebook trying to uh, tell me, you know, argue with me about that, but you know, arguing it doesn't it doesn't get it doesn't get me nowhere arguing with somebody, you know, because you already know once they want to argue, you already know that they're not in the future. There's a lot of signs. There's a lot of signs letting letting um letting you know who's in the future and who's not in the future and 
when this particular female had had uh commented on my post, I just you know looked at it and like, oh, she she definitely she's not in the future. Just like the other cat that commented on my um my roast surveillance um video, it's like, okay, is is it true? Is it not true? My whole goal is to make you think. You know, everybody's so so caught in uh, being raised by social media and the TV religion that, you know, they don't think. They don't think no more for themselves. They do not think no more for themselves. So, and they, they target, it's because the majority, majority of the people is feeling some of these emotions. One of these emotions they're feeling, alone. You know, you break, I can't read all of them, but, you know, you break break a lot of these words down. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, entertainment, man. They internally taming your mental. It's real simple. It's not hard. Entertainment, internally taming your mental. And then they, it gets deeper than that because what happens is they put you in a hypnosis. They put you in a trance, a hypnosis. You don't even know that you're in a trance. And once you start breaking out the trance, there's so many there's so many hypnosises out here that you you end up getting caught in one thing or one another. But once your once your junk DNA is activated, you're always going to catch it. You might fall back a little bit, but you'll still catch it, and it'll still it'll still be tr your neurotransmitters in your in your in your mind the ones that ain't triggering. They start hitting like pistons, and you just start you start um, dissecting and decoding stuff quicker. So that's that's the thing with the with the junk DNA. <clears throat> I don't even argue with people no more. If they want to talk and have an adult conversation, that's cool. But this video is breaking down the entertainment. Now, when you're dealing with back to uh to Kobe Bryant, also Kobe uh um was a part of that uh was a part of that entertainment eternally taming your mental. He was a part of that, but you know, just I just wanted to say something about because I know this ain't a Kobe video, but to speak on his death. See when when you're dealing with a whole bunch of high class uh, niggas that slaves, and you know it when when all right, it's just like back in the slave plantation when once when when the slaves when the slave master thought that his slaves were either plotting on him or you know not really following him mentally. Then he will make an example out of one out of one of them so they can fall back in line. That's all that happened. That's all that happened with Kobe Bryant. See, the NBA players on a whole, <coughs> the NBA players on a whole, they all started to get out of line. They was probably talking about some secret stuff, doing this, doing that under the table. And, you know, the uh, people got wind of that. They got wind of that, and then they're like, okay, it's time to make an example. Let's make an example out of the main one. And, the, and, the, and it was so crazy about that is the whole, um, the whole, yeah, I did it, is when LeBron, went to, when LeBron went to the Lakers. You got the number one player in the Lakers, and then the number one um, pass player pass away in a helicopter crash. So that's all that situation is, man. All part of the entertainment, man. Internally taming your mental. Real easy. That's all it is. So that's that's one thing I want to say about Kobe. I thought about that the other day. I'm like, man, I said, man, they probably just, you know, caught wind. You know, you got maybe like 30, 40, you know, NBA cats plotting on something or, you know, talking about starting their own league, this and that. You know, slaves getting out of pocket. So what do you do? You make an example out of one major one.